This school term is nearing a close and students aren't the only ones making preparation. Kelsey Johnson tells us tonight that the Ministry of Education is getting ready to welcome students back into the classroom. Some schools across the country have opted to have students return to the classroom and sit final exams instead of doing it virtually. The face-to-face -face examinations are to begin on Monday with campus safety measures and proper protocols fully enforced. The Ministry of Education attempted to return to traditional learning earlier this year with the sitting of the national examinations, but those exams were postponed due to increasing COVID-19 cases. Director of Education Marcellus Taylor reassures parents and students that schools opting to conduct face-to-face -face instructions are ready to do so. The schools at the secondary level certainly have already a lot of experience because they've already conducted national exams for several uh, days, weeks, and so we believe that things will go quite well. But in the, at the primary level, um, some primary schools are not doing it or some primary schools are only bringing in some grades. That's why it's important for our parents and, and, and students to be in tune with what their school is saying because, um, you know, what might pertain to one school might be different in another school. Um, and so um, we ask parents and guardians to make sure that they go on and whatever social media the school may have or call the school to find out the particulars around when their child should be participating and how they should be participating in this. Examinations for students attending Anatole Rogers Junior High School started Monday, November 30th to run until December 8th. That school's face-to-face -face exams for 10th through 12th graders will begin on Monday. C.V. Bethel and C.C. Sweeting Senior Schools are following suit. For those students whose schools will continue on the virtual platforms, Taylor encourages parents to prepare them for the sitting. As it relates to students who do not have access to the virtual platform, Taylor had this to say. Well, their testimony will be uh, predicated on the work that they were given, uh, the work that they were given and the work that they were taught uh, and, and, and that the students were taught on a virtual platform of, uh, you know, is following, it, 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 it all came from the same, uh, what we call the national pacing guide. So the, the topics that, that they all cover are supposed to be relatively uh, similar, if not the same. The actual activities might be slightly different, of course, because, you know, what you can do in a virtual environment, you may not be able to do um, on a, in a paper-based uh, 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 assessment. But, you know, the content and the skills that they're supposed to acquire would be pretty much the same. So participating in the, uh, in the assessment shouldn't be too much of a challenge from that perspective. Parents and students are encouraged to monitor the various mediums for 